Hello and welcome to the Overshadow Shadowcast. We host us this week as Abigail and in all honesty, I think it's going to be me for the foreseeable future. Tommy is still incredibly busy with his university work, so unfortunately he will not have time to really record anything. I don't know how long that's going to be and with everything that's happening in the UK, it looks like we will not even be able to record in the same room for some weeks to come. This is incredibly unfortunate but that's the this that's the scenario of the that's 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 what's happening <laughs> let's try it that way that that is what's happening so hopefully you are going to be happy listening to me for the next few weeks and if not <laughs> bye bye <laughs> if you want to stick around great so um yet again i've not been playing anything i I'm still waiting on monitors and I'm really annoyed at the fact that the one I was going to get yesterday now says that it's out of stock and there's no word yet on when they're going to be able to get it back in stock. So I don't know if it's worthwhile just pre-ordering it and then just waiting around. Um, loads of places are out of stock of the, on that front. I've not really been playing the Xbox. Well, I've not been playing the Xbox at all. I've been gardening for weeks now and it's looking good I'm not gonna lie looks it looks good uh, yeah um, I feel like it's been more beneficial for for me to be outside than it would be inside playing video games I don't know if Tommy's been playing anything he's not told me that if he's played anything or not Tommy if you're listening to this if you're playing anything how about you give me a quick roundup that I can give everybody something to re to listen to that's actually got to do with gaming so with that and also I think that if I was playing anything I'd ramble on for too long and it would get boring this listening to say, yeah, it was okay. Yeah, that was great. Pretty, okay. So I will just get on with the news. So I have three stories for you guys today. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy them. So the first star is the first story. First story. The first story I have for you is regarding um, the latest from Sony and it's regarding the PS5 is that they have finally released an image and information about the new controller for it. So this is the new, um, the new PS5, the next gen of uh, consoles, uh, it's called the Dual Sense, and I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty awesome actually. It has these like little lines of blue, which are actually lights, and the two tones of white and black does make it look very futuristic. I'm gonna uh, throw up a picture for you guys so you guys can have a look at, but it is still, in my opinion, quite recognizable as a PS controller. As we know that they have they have the joysticks both at the bottom and also it's got a massive PS5 symbol on it as well. I don't know if you can see it with that picture, it's quite dark. For the PS4, Sony released the Dual Shock 4. The company has taken on board what players liked about the controller and been approved upon it for the features for the Dual Sense. So I remember when the PS4 controller came out, everybody was just like having fun with that, that little touch sensor pad at the top. Uh, I think they, I think Sony even brought out a few games that you could just, like, it wasn't even so much a game, it was just like little features that you could, like little fun things you could do with it just for, for the sake of having that one little strip there. The idea behind the new controller is that you will be able to uh, immerse in the world as it will give you more of a realistic feel. One of the scenarios Sony's website sort of gave is that, for example, if you were to pull a draw sting, draw sting, draw string on a bow in a game using the L2 and R2 buttons, uh, they would have a more realistic tension on them. So I'm guessing that um, if you've ever pulled a bow, not that many people have, it'll be well. If uh, I have, and definitely as you as you bring it back further, it's it has more tension as the further you bring it back. So I'm guessing that possibly if you press the button in, the the further it goes, the more difficult it's going to be to actually press the button. And if, if that's how it works, that's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, Tommy added a little note for me saying, feedback in the triggers on the Xbox. This causes vibration in the trigger to let you know if you are firing a weapon or driving too fast, depending on the game, of course. So um, I had a look into that. So Xbox have kind of got the same um, idea. I've not noticed it that much when I've been playing. So I don't know if that's for the Xbox. The, the Xbox One controller, if that's for the Xbox Elite uh, controller. Uh, I don't know, really know what he meant by that and I'm not going to be able to get an answer from him for a while. So let's just go with that. I've not noticed it too much on the Xbox. So then again, I've not played many games where I'm drawing drawing bow strings or I'm driving on gritty stuff except for Halo. That's interesting that uh, he's comparing it to that. So another change they made from the DualShock 4 is taking out the share button and replacing it with a create button instead. Now, Sony haven't given much away with what this new feature of the control will do, but have said that they will release details closer, 
closer, closer, closer, closer to the launch date. Another new feature the DualSense has, it has an inbuilt microphone. So this will be handy for if you have need to have a quick chat with a teammate or something like that. However, Sony have stated that if you are intending this for it to be a longer conversation, then you should really have a headset, not so much use that microphone because I think that'll drain the battery quicker. Now, Sony have yet to actually announce what the new console will look like. There have been widespread speculation around it. However, with the design of the new controller, we can get a better idea of the color scheme at least. I'll have a link down below if you want to read up the article on Sony's actual website. I need to actually remember to do that. Uh, <laughs> and please have a please leave a comment below about what you actually think of the Dual Shock. So um, there have been a lot of speculation about what this Xbox Five control, X, X, uh, PS Five console is actually going to look like. I remember before we talked about it, it was going to look a bit like a spaceship. I've seen a far more sleeker design of it that some people have speculated about. Something closer to the uh, PS4 look, one where it's pretty much just a kind of like basic standard kind of like book shape. It will be interesting if they're going to go for that spaceship look. It will make it a lot different. It also has a bit of more of a retro feel to it, that kind of design. This, however, this, but the fact that the controller looks far more futuristic and it kind of doesn't mirror up with what that, what that first kind of speculation of what the console is actually going to look like. That makes me think that's probably not going to be the way they're going to go down. It's going to be more of a sleek design. So maybe that was just a massive red herring that a lot of people were throwing about at the beginning, trying to like shake off a lot of it. So like I say, tell me what you guys think of the Dual Shock. Do you think it's a cool design? What What's your opinion? So the next story I have for you guys is regarding Final Fantasy f 14. I keep wanting to say Final Fantasy 4. If I do that, I apologize. It is 14 I'm talking about. So Final Fantasy 14 dropped a uh, patch, uh, patch 5.2 in February this year, 2020, with another one that was scheduled to drop sometime in June, 2020. Now, how I say suppose. However, and I apologize if any of these names are pronounced incorrectly, Naoki Yoshida, uh, the game director for Final Fantasy 14, has come out to say that due to the world events at the moment, and again, we're not going to be mentioning the actual thing because we don't want to be taken down or anything like that, uh, the patch could be delayed for up to a month. So roughly th th three to four weeks, I think was his actual time, time frame. Uh, he has apologized for the disappointment players will have with this news, but he did go on to say, however, it is with important, try it again. He, uh, he has apologized for the disappointment players will have with this news, but went on to say, um, in a statement saying, however, it is also important to prioritize the physical and mental health of our development team, without whom we would never be able to release the quality updates and features you expect from Final Fantasy XIV. So we ask for your understanding as we adjust our schedule in accordance with the situation. So I don't think anybody can really hold it against the company for delays or any delay from any company, really. The world is in a pretty chaotic turn of events. It's new to us all and and everyone pretty much. Um, this will not be the last delay that we hear of. It will not be, not for a while at least, because everybody in the world has kind of got a different quarantine lockdown kind of like regulation going on. I know in the UK, I think that they are looking at extending it by about another three weeks. You know, we just have to kind of like roll with it. That's the only thing we can do. We can't control it. This will not be the last delay, but I'll try and keep you up to date with as many delays as I know they're happening. Um, if you're interested at all about patch 5.3 that was supposed to come out in June. So speaking of delays, we've also got cancellations. So this is regarding BlizzCon. Can you guess what it might be about? So in November, the annual BlizzCon is supposed to happen in Anaheim, but... Blizzard have said that in social that if social gatherings are still prohibited at that time, uh, they may be forced to cancel. So Sarah Lynn Smith, the executive pro producer of BlizzCon, in a statement said, "While we're all hopeful things will look better later in the year, the bottom line is that at this point it's too early to know whether BlizzCon 2020 will be feasible." So since BlizzCon has first started in 2005, it has only ever missed two years, 2006 and 2012. The event is to show off the new games and announcements that Blizzard has in the pipeworks. Pipe, pipe, pipeworks. <laughs> um, it's not surprising that the event may be cancelled as E3 and the Game Developers Conference have all been cancelled for this year. If you remember, Blizzard came under fire last year with regards to uh, Blitz. 
Blitzchung. Blitzchung was banned from professional play for 12 months and had to hand back all his prize money. The reason being is that Blizzard were unhappy with the fact that he used the winner's interview speech to show support for the Hong Kong protesters at the time. Blizzard received massive black backlash and boycotts for doing this. In response, Blizzard gave back all the prize money and she reduced the ban to six months instead of 12. There was also a breach in players' personal data in 2019, which took the company a full three days to actually own up to. In terms of data, data, this is a very long time to own up to it. Could BlizzCon 2020 have had something in the pipe works to make up for the pretty crummy year of 2019? We may never know. So, like I say, loads of public personal, personal? Public gatherings have actually been cancelled this year. E3 cancelled. Uh, the development, the game developers conference cancelled. I know loads of other things have also been cancelled. I think, I believe, in a year in which the Olympics is being cancelled, a year in which uh, the Edinburgh Festival has been cancelled. I actually found that out a few, uh, a week ago and I was actually, I was, I was pretty devastated by that because that's always so much fun and it's just such, it's like a celebration of life almost, that festival, but we got to put people's personal health above everything at the moment so I totally understand. November seems like a very very long time away and let's face it a lot of us didn't think that this was going to go as chaotic as it did so who knows hopefully by November things will have gotten relatively back to normal. I don't know if BlizzCon's going to go ahead. I doubt it will go ahead at this time because they're talking about how there might be a resurgence in winter so we shall, we'll just have to see. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Absolutely nobody can tell you what's going to happen in the future and hardly anybody can tell you what's going to happen next week, let alone what's going to be happening in a month's time or six months' time. So that's all the stories I have for you today. Hopefully it was a bit more informative, a bit more structured. I feel bad sometimes when I feel like I don't know what I'm talking about. Hopefully there I did actually sound like I knew what I was talking about. Again, if Tommy was here, he'd probably keep me on the right tracks a little bit more. So all I can say is, Tommy, I hope you're doing really well if you're in your work. I'm sure it's all going to be worth it. You know, I hope you're doing well. I hope all you guys are doing well out there as well. hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are being sensible and not, you know, going out more than twice a day. For a very long time, I actually genuinely thought that meant I couldn't actually leave my house. But apparently we can. You can go in your, into your garden as long as it's safe. You know, I think as long as you're like two meters away from anybody else, like other people's gardens or whatever. So... I hope you guys are all well. I hope you guys are all staying safe. If you would like to leave a comment down below, that'd be great. You can discuss any of the stories that we discussed today. Um, you can talk, maybe talk about some stories you'd like me to discuss next week. I do look at the comments uh, a couple of days before I go to record this, or even like the, the day before I go to record this. It's a good chance I might catch you. So do you guys think that they're going to go with a more spaceship looking ps5 or do you think it's going to be a more of a slim line I, I think from the picture of the controller it's going to be more slim line what are you guys thoughts on the delays that are happening do you think it's going to destroy the gaming community i don't think so what do you guys think of blizzcon do you think it's going to go ahead do you think it's not do you think we're going to get to bit back to a bit more reality in november let me know you can subscribe to our channel you can hit the notification bell for when we upload I've got no idea if we're going to be uploading any videos or anything like that anytime soon. I doubt we are. Uh, especially if I can't get a blinking monitor. I'm not going to be able to upload any PC stuff. And also, to be honest, guys, I'm actually getting headaches from even editing this. Because my monitor that I'm using is a television. It is incredibly blurry. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm in pain for you guys. You can, I'm, I've lost, lost track of what you guys could do. You can hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. That's what it is. Hit that like button if you like listening to me. And you're going to be listening to me for a while, I think. You can email us at overshadow.shadowcast at gmail.com. You can see our Facebook page. I have actually not seen the Facebook page. Tommy, please send me a link to the Facebook page because I think there's a better chance of you listening to this and replying to me than me actually messaging you. I'm joking. He does actually reply to me. Uh, <laughs> that was a joke. Uh, uh, actually, yeah, g genuinely send me a link for that. It's overshadow.shadowcast for Facebook. We don't really use it at the moment. Did I say you could leave a comment? Yes, I think I did. I think I said you could leave a comment. Uh, so I think that's it. 
hey guess if I forget anything how about comment that say Abigail you forgot to say this Abigail <laughs> you forgot to do this um so I hope you guys have enjoyed listening to this and I hope you guys come back next week for when I upload and we'll see what I talk about uh, if there's any more I'm, I'm gonna try and look up stuff that isn't just delays 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 and even more delays or cancellations some some good stuff to come out of the gaming world um also do you know what guys have a look at typing like free games and things up because I know that some companies are are that's changing kind of like on a day-to-day -day basis almost and I'm I'm trying to keep up with it as much as I can but I know that some people are still releasing games or releasing games at heavily reduced price so you know keep an eye on that so that's all for me and all I have to say is stay safe stay well I hope you guys are all okay and I will see you all next week farewell